and you know what to do. Please welcome Jenny Campbell Bauer. Give it up. You can do better than that, I think. There you go. I got a microphone for you. Thank you so much. Grab a seat. Hang out. That was fucking mortifying. <laughs> Do you mind if we get to some questions, or do you want let's, to talk a bit? No, let's open this up. I will talk once questions are asked. Okay, let's hit the first row. Uh, Kyle, can you hit the first row? Right, and everyone else, please line up over here. Okay, and you guys can line up over here. I'll get you. Uh, so I have been a long-time fan just because of the Mortal Instruments. Uh, right now, you go front to back. Uh, you're the best personification of Jace Wayland I have ever seen in my life. Um, Going into the Mortal Instruments, did you know anything about the books or the lore, or maybe even how to draw runes by chance? Uh, I, in all honesty, when I was asked to audition for the part, no, I had no, I had no idea. Uh, and then my process is that of like diving in as far as I possibly can do and getting involved and understanding the character. So of course, when I got the job, I was like, you know, like face down in the books, getting involved in it, uh, sending the producers emails, sending them possible references that I could use, uh, and uh, and yeah, so no, but I couldn't draw a rune for shit. I still can't, really. When people ask me, I'm like, Are you really? Are you sure you want me to do that? So uh, yeah, that's that's what I got for you there. Thank you for your question. <laughs> oh, thank you for letting me be a part of your childhood. That's that's really sweet. That, that, yeah, that means a lot. Thank you. Hi, Jamie. Hello, nice to see you again. Yes, this is the third time now. It is. I have a question. Third time's a charm. Right? Man, I'm going to start thinking we're on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, I have no idea what to say. <laughs> <laughs> when I had uh, met you earlier, we talked about Sweeney Todd. Right. And I actually saw that in theaters because I grew up loving Johnny Depp and I loved Alan Rickman as Severa Snake. And I've seen interviews where you talk about working with Johnny Depp. But I want to know from your side of things how it is working with Alan Rickman. I got some good stories. I want to hear them. All right, so you know, obviously, we tragically lost Alan uh, a few years back, um, and one of my lasting memories from from knowing him, from working with him, was at the premiere of the film, and this is testament to the kind of man that he was. I'm with my mom and my godmother, and they become like 14 year old girls around Johnny Depp. They're like freaking out. They're like, oh my god, let me turn it down. I'm like, fuck's sake. Okay, all right. So I take him over. My godmother's like, have you been to Madame Two Swords to go see yourself? And he's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, so sorry. He didn't actually say what the fuck, but you know, you could, you could tell. Anyway, so I'm so I'm with my with my mom and my godmother, and uh, and then I'm looking for my dad, and I turn around, and I just see him and Alan sat on a couch in the corner, just talking, like regular people. And that meant so much to me to see somebody that I admired just being a real person with a member of my family. It meant so much to me. So that's one of my lasting memories. And I think also just like he had such a big heart, such a big soul. Um, he was very fun, very intense to work with, obviously, because we had to do some pretty crazy stuff together. Um, but yeah, I've got nothing but I got nothing but love and, and and joyous memories from that time working with him and working on that film full stop. But yeah, he was he was a real guy. He was a real dude. So yeah, a lot of love for that guy. A lot of love. Rest in peace. Oh, probably the fearless group because it's the one that people ask me to draw all the time and it's the one that I can actually do. Does that answer your question in a really bad way? There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. It's hey. so awesome to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, so my question was, like, what was your favorite um, part like during Stranger Things to film? I get asked this question a lot. And... Uh, and, and my answer is always the same. And it, again, it's a bit of a cop-out, but all of it. 
I didn't expect to get that job. You know, being given the opportunity to work on a project like that is a 100% blessing. So I went into that filled with nothing but gratitude. And that's how I feel about the show. Um, so all the memories that I have, and they are vast and varied, as you can imagine, um, are just the best ones ever. <laughs> so there is no one day, there is no one scene. I mean, you know, obviously at the end of Seven, when, you know, uh, we discover who, you know, Henry is one and Vecna and he has the turn, you know, that was, that was a very intense three-day process of shooting that scene, but... So that's a that's a very strong memory, but all of them, all of them are my favorite memories. I mean, yeah, all right, I could be funny and say freaking kids out is fun. <laughs> it is, it is. But like, all of it was great. All of it was great because there was such a journey that I went on in the show and in my life, and yeah, it's it's yeah, it's nuts. It feels really crazy. So that's my answer. Thank you so much. So we're gonna go to this side of the room for some. Okay. Hello. Oh, hey, Jamie. Nice to see you properly. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> can I bring music into this? You can bring music wherever you like. Perfect. Um, I just got to say your music, you've jumped so many times to different kind of genres and stuff, and I love it, but what inspired you to go to country? I always have written country music. Somebody tagged me in a tweet the other day that I had posted in, like, 2014, saying, just want to be a country music star. And I think for me, like, what country does so well is it's, a, it's storytelling. You know, it's the storytelling aspect of music, which I really, really value. Um, and I think also for me in country, I am able to, like, peel layers back as well and go to, like, gospel and soul. And this country has such a rich history of, of music that for me now, what I'm able to do is, like, Last month, I was like down in Memphis hanging out with these guys called the High Rhythm Section that were the band that tracked for Al Green on songs like Let's Stay Together. And I was at Royal Studios down there and I went and hung out at Sam Phillips Audio. Uh, Sam was the guy that started Sun Studios. So, you know, where Elvis and Roy Orbison and all these, you know, Johnny Cash, all these like absolute legends recorded. So for me, I think now, like what I really like about it is the, I guess the, there's an honesty to it. There's a real honesty to to that side of music, and and I, yeah, I, like I just I fully, you know, I'm English, so I'm not like full country. So I mean, yes, I grew up in the country, but like you know, hey, I'm not from America, you know. But like, I'm doing my thing, uh, I'm doing it my way, and and uh, and just trying to trying to pay homage to to all of that shit and where it comes from, basically. Great. We love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next question. Next question. Hey. Um, I was wondering if you had a favorite scene that you filmed during the Mortal Instruments. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, was, yeah. Um, uh, I loved doing all the fight stuff. I loved learning how to like swing a sword, and I got to do like a front flip onto a table, which was pretty cool. And like, I got to do a lot of wire work as well. Um, yeah, probably the fight stuff was my favorite. You know, I'm, like, I'm still like a little kid at heart, so like, you know put a sword in my hand, I'm going to go for it, you know. Uh, so yeah, that, 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 that stuff was, was probably my favorite. Yeah. Thank intense. You. Nice and intense. I like intense too, if you couldn't tell. Next question. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey. So um, I know we're all here about film and TV, but I'm a big reader. So I was just wondering if you could perfectly encapsulate what a book made you feel and how you read it. What book would you turn into a film? Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> there's, there's, there's been a book that I've always wanted to turn into a film called The Five People You Meet in Heaven. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. I think it's a really good story. I think there's a lot to be had in that. Um, I always saw someone like Tom Hanks playing the lead in that movie. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like I grew up when I was about 15. That's kind of when... I discovered Kerouac and Allen Ginsberg and kind of American literature and, and I was discovering Bob Dylan at the same time. So, you know, they, they've already made like On the Road, you know, but I'd love to try that again. That would be fun. Or just maybe be in it. 
That would have been nice. Bastards. <laughs> thank you. One more question, and then we'll go to the other side. Thank you. Hi. Oh, thank you. Hi. Hello again. Hi. Hi. Um, I feel like people always come up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, sorry. Um, this girl is so fun. Please don't. I, um, I won't, I promise. <laughs> um, oh, wow, go on. OK, he's back. Hi. Uh, so I know people often ask me questions about like film, and like, what's your favorite, what's your least favorite, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I was kind of curious, like, with fans and interactions with that, have you ever had, like, a favorite, like, funny moment, or, like, anything that stuck out to you that made you kind of be like, I love these people? Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I love these people is always there. <laughs> like, that, that, never, that never goes away, but, like, I had a really heavy and beautiful experience recently in a, in a town called Telford. Um, where uh, I think it was in Telford, yeah, it was in Telford, where um, I was doing a photo op and uh, this kid, I saw this kid out of the corner of my eye, and he had this big sign saying, cancer tried to take my dad, but we beat it and so we're here. I was, that was fucking moving. So uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's just real shit like that that I, that I really love. And uh, it never, there's never a day that goes by that I'm not grateful for anyone that supports what I do, that I have to be in this position. You know, it's because of you that I'm able to make art. I'm under no illusions. So um, you are my employers, and I'm incredibly grateful, and I admit that from Johnny, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Hey, God, it's so hot in here, isn't it? Are you hot? <laughs> It's like Stop muggy. You. It's like I can like taste you all. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm chewing his gum so vigorous. Well, thank you so much for your brilliant performance. I'm obsessed with so many of your characters. Thank you. Uh, get a great award, Magna. I jumped out a window with get a great award. Let's not overstate it. <laughs> I mean, but like he's charming. So thank you. You are charming. That I do. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I find myself always easily attracted by villains, and you happen to play many of them. But I wonder, is there anything in specific, in specific in those villains that you see make you pick those roles, and how did you make those roles so attractive? I think those roles pick me more than anything. Um, and I think for me, one of the things about a villainous role or a character that is deemed as bad and one of the things, the fundamental core beliefs that I have is that people are not born bad. That we are all a product of our environment. It's the age-old question of nature versus nurture, right? And I very much fall on the side of nurture, at least at the moment, at the age I am at 35 with what I know. That's what I think, right? So for me, what's interesting about those characters is how, how, how do they get to be the way that they are? What made them that? Um, and it's something that I'm fascinated in with all of us. What makes us the way that we are? Who are we and why? So I think I'm probably cast in those roles because I, you know, I look, you know, I'm sort of angelic, but equally at the same time, there's a sort of darkness going on. It's mysterious. It's mysterious. Um, what a wanker. Um, <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, that, that, that's, that's what I'm interested in, is digging in, finding out people, finding out why people are. You know, I played a couple of good guys, and that's been real tough. <laughs> like, I'm like, why is this person so nice? They had a terrible childhood, yet they seem to be okay about it. That ain't me. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, yeah, that, that's, my, that's my answer. Thank you. I seem to end all questions by saying, that's my answer. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. So I know that in Twilight you enjoy the fact that Kai is always perpetually angry, yes. angry at people. Yes, it will finish. So <laughs> I was wondering that with your bubbly personality and how giggly you are, was it hard for you to stay serious on set? In, as Caius? Yes. Oh, yes. It was incredibly difficult. You put Christopher Heyerdahl in there, who played Marcus as well. We were <laughs> nightmares. We were absolute terrors. Um, we were very much into. Um, uh, Peter Cook and Dudley Moore at the time, and uh, and so we just like start to wear those characters in our full character suit and say the most stupid shit, um, stuff about bums and willies and all sorts of weird <laughs> shit. So yeah, yeah, no, it was we were naughty, we were very 
very badly behaved, you can rest assured that they're underneath the sort of, you know, uh, majestic darkness of it all were, were two three-year-olds. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Hi, Jamie. Hello. So my question is, did you have any funny or bad mishaps with any of your costumes? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> any of my costumes? God, you're, gonna, you're taking me right back here. I'll, I'll tell you something. I was talking to somebody about this the other day. I, I, there is nothing more devastating as an actor when you have to go to work and you know you've got a sex scene coming up. <laughs> And you walk into your trailer and you're used to having some fucking costume hanging on like a rail. You walk in there and there's no costume on the rail, but on your right hand side is a flesh colored sock. <laughs> Fortunately, that's never fallen off. But, you know, it's like a flesh colored sock and some like elastic plus tape. You gotta like stick that onto bits of yourself that you'd never normally be hanging around in. It's pretty savage. Taking it off's even worse. Yeah, it's like a good wax. Fellas, listen up. Thank you. Gonna head back over here, Jamie. This gentleman has a question. What is your favorite part about filming the Vegna scene with Sadie Singh? Hello, young man. It's lovely to see you again. What is my favorite part? I'll tell you a funny story. I was going to say this about your question about costumes. Uh, I mean, Sadie's amazing. She's an amazing actor. She's like, and she said some very, very kind things about me, and I feel the same way. She's incredibly patient, and incredibly de dedicated. But when we were doing that scene, there's that bit. Do you remember where she has, where Max pulls the vine of Vecna, pulls one of the tendrils, and he steps back? and that whole floor was really wet. And so I, on the first take, like really gave it, like gave it like a full like step back, Rah! I slipped and I fell over. And everybody gasped and I thought, oh, that's so sweet. They're really worried about me. They weren't worried about me. They were worried about the costume. They were worried about the um, so that's one of my favorite memories, um, but that and also I think like standing at the top of the, it, there's a photograph of it out there, but it's like standing at the top of the like, uh, I don't even know what you call it, mountains, rocks, bones, whatever, um, as she's running away and the camera was like tracking in uh, on a big crane and it was just one of those moments where I thought, God, this is so cool. <laughs> I feel so awesome right now. So yeah, that, that was another one of my favorite memories too. Does that help? Yeah. You happy? <laughs> right. Do you have a question? We aim to please. Very nice. Yeah. What's your favorite to work with on the Stranger Things set? That's like picking a favorite child. I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, like, I, look, I worked a lot with Mills. Like, you know, like Millie and I had some heavy shit to do together. Um, and that kid is, I mean, she's not a kid anymore, but she is because I'm old. Um, <laughs> you know, she's amazing. She's just so in it. And uh, and it's like playing sport with somebody who is better than you. Uh, it just makes you up your game. Um, but don't get me wrong, I love Sades. You know, I love them. I love them all. They're all amazing. But Mills and I really bonded during that time. We had a lot of crazy stuff to do. So, um, you know, I got a lot of love for her. She's like my sister. Okay. Next question. Hey, Jamie, what's up? Hey, not much. How are you doing? I mean, I'm just sat on the stage in front of, you know, a hundred people or so. Yeah, yeah no question. It's pretty weird, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you had any, like, super character you could play, would you rather be a good guy, or do you like playing the villain? As long as I could wear underpants over my trousers, I'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. One more question, and we'll bounce over to the other side. Alright, so I've been like a fan of your your voice and your music since I was like eight years old listening to you sing Joanna and Sweeney Todd. Um, and obviously you came up, uh, released Heaven in Your Eyes like a month ago. Do you have any more music like in the works? Yeah, all the time. So as I was saying, you know, I was just hanging out in Memphis and uh, met this guy called Matt Ross Fang. What used to, Matt used to be uh, a uh, an engineer at Sun and has now got his own spot. 
Um, and so Matt and I are planning on doing some work together. I mean, I'm like, I'm always writing, you know? I've got various projects that like, will be labors of love for like a really long time. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah, no, there'll be, there'll be more. It, it's not, we're not done, it's not dry, I'm gonna, gonna keep going, you know, but it's, I like to, when I do things, I like to feel like fully connected to it. Yeah. That's what I like to do, so anything that I put out, I really believe in. It's that kind of thing. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome back over. Hello again. Hey, I just wanted to know what's your go-to karaoke song and why? I haven't been to karaoke for so long. We're probably like living on a prayer just because it's absolutely <laughs> You can really just scream back into the mic and nobody cares. You know, I'm not that guy that's like, I'm going to do Frank Sinatra, fuck you all. <laughs> Look at how smooth I am. Yeah, probably that. Thank you. Hi, Jamie. Hello again. Um, I was wondering, if you could be any other character besides Anthony and Sweeney Todd, who would you be? Oh, that's such a good question. I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know, uh, Pirelli would be super fun. I'm really bad at comedy in, in front of a camera. Stick the camera in front of me. I suck at comedy. Um, but I also, you know, I don't know, Toby, like, Nothing's Gonna Harm You is just the most beautifully written song. It's stunning. So, and I just told Caden. You know, I saw, I didn't go to the show, but I saw it online. I saw the live recording that he did. That guy smashed it out of the park, man. Just like really belting it out there. And I would have probably chosen to go to Air Voice, you know, on those top notes. And he just fully in chest, giving it. Like, I respect that big time. So, yeah. Thank you. Hi, Jamie. Um, Hello. If you could be any of your characters in real life, who would you be? Caius. <laughs> that hair is so fun. <laughs> that cloak, my god. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, hi. Hey. So before I ask this question, I just want to thank you for taking a picture with my sister. Um, she's been like talking about it all day nonstop. Oh, I'm glad she's happy. My question for you is how long did uh, it take to put on the Vecna makeup? Ah, oh, the first one of these. Um, so when we first did it, it took 15 hours, about that, the first time we tried it on. And then we managed to get that down to about seven hours. Um, so I was getting to work at like two o'clock in the morning. I was leaving home at like 2 a.m., getting to work at three, uh, starting to shoot at like 10 doing like a 10 hour day and then an hour off at the end of the day. So all in all, you know, we're looking at like 19, 18 hour days, you know, which is, which is fun. I love it. I got to be the first guy on set. That's kind of cool. It kind of makes you feel like it's your home. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, let's head over this. We got about 10 minutes left. Let's see what we can knock out. Okay, I'll stop warbling. I'll be short and quick. I'll give you sound bites. Yes, no. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. It's good to see you. Nice to see you. Um, so Come on, hurry up! <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Despite all, like, acting and everything, do you have, like, any, like, special hobbies you enjoy doing, like, writing and, like, other than I like music? Yeah, yeah, I write, I paint, uh, I like to kill cats. <laughs> I'm joking! <laughs> Wars, <laughs> hamsters. <laughs> ah. Dark. Um, yeah, no, I like, I paint, I write, I surf. Um, I, I have like an old truck that I'm working on, um, yeah, like, uh, anything that gets me kind of outdoors, I'm into, um, I don't, I, 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 in my old age, I'm not too fan, I'm not too much of a fan of like being in the city for too long, so um, I like to be outside. Thank you. Thank you. I was only joking about animals. <laughs> Internet. I see you. Yeah. Ooh, hello again. Nice hey again. to see you. Um, if anything, Twilight's coming back. The whole renaissance is upon us. And with you playing Caius in New Moon and Breaking Dawn, I'm wondering, do you have a fan cast for Bella and Edward since what Catherine said, Jacob Alordi and Jenna Ortega? That's cool. Fan cast for Jacob or Edward. John Cleese <laughs> as Bella. <laughs> Mr. Cleese, if you can hear this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Big respect, did he just walk by? Jesus know. Christ. He's going to come out just as Bella. And come back to 
me on Edward. I'll have to think of a funnier answer. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and you have a question? You do, okay. Uh, I'm speaking for this one right here. Oh. Hello, young man. And he wanted to know how Vega survived being lit on fire. <laughs> because he's so badass. <laughs> um, yeah, and he fell out the window. The wind. The wind. Yeah. The wind, thank you. You can, you can come with me. Let's get a few more on this side. Hi, Jamie. Hello again. Um, so, if you could bring back any person in Stranger Things that died on the show, who would you bring back? You want me to say Eddie Munson, don't you? Yeah. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say Chrissy. And thank you. you. have a question? Yeah, one last question on the side, then I'll move out. Hi, Jamie. Hey. Um, so I have to assume that you'll be going back to Atlanta soon. I couldn't possibly tell you. I mean, everybody else is there, but I was just curious. I'm you. here. <laughs> I was curious what you and your co-star's favorite pastime in Atlanta is, because I mean, having lived there, I never want to leave the house and deal with the traffic there. So Yeah, traffic's a nightmare. <laughs> and, you, and everyone seems to have an accident at rush hour. Yeah. What's that all about? It's it stupid. takes me an hour and a half to get home from work. And it should be important. Yeah, it's bad. Um, I mean, when I was down there last time, I, I used to drive a lot. Like, I used to go out and, like, I found, like, a, this, like, old town, these places called, like, Jewel. Um, I'd find, like, these old houses or these old, like, Antioch churches, and I'd take, like, photos there. And I got a friend of mine called Briscoe to come down, and we took a bunch of pictures down there late at night. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I like doing that. I just like exploring. That's that's really my kind of vibe when I'm down there. For me, it's the sky in, in Georgia particularly. I don't know how you guys feel about it here, but the sky in Georgia just seems vast. Like it just seems to go on forever. And there's something about like chasing that that I really, really enjoy. So that's, that's what I do. He's an old romantic at heart. <laughs> Okay, we have time for five more questions. Okay, okay I'll, I'll be quick. I'll be quick, I promise. Hi, Jamie. Hi. I've been a fan since the Mortal Instruments, Thank so you. I was wondering if you've ever taken anything from set and what's your favorite line? Taken anything from the Mortal Instruments set or any set? Mortal Instruments set? I think I have the chair back from like, the, you know, like we have those silly director's chairs that have our names on them for our egos. Um, <laughs> I think I took that. Um, and what's my favorite line? The one I always write, if I'm, and generally people don't ask for it, is if I'm like writing it in, in, in their books or whatever, I, I tend to write like, you are a shadow hunter, Barry. So I tend to write that. I think that's quite personal for people. So I use that one a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Oh, uh, I know we met before. We did. And we were talking and I love, and I wanted to ask if, I can give you a hug. Oh, darling, yeah, come on up. Yeah, let's have a hug. Hi, Jamie. Hello, would you like a hug too? Well, I mean, I want to turn this down. Get your question out, be more trust me. Know which one of your characters required the most research to get into that headspace? That's a very good question, and I appreciate that. And I can spend the next forty-five minutes talking about it, but I won't. Um, I really, 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 really enjoy getting into Henry, and I really enjoy getting into Vecna. Um, it's something that. Uh, wait, hold my answer. Um, uh, yeah, I, I loved it. I, I spent a lot of time researching things, both in the scripts that I could take, I, and also real life people. Um, and uh, and so in that, I really got to understand the idea of childhood trauma, of why people tend to do, why young people can do bad things, how they can fall into really bad circumstances, um, and uh, and form form a sort of like more informed decision, I think, on on humanity and on people as a whole, you know, I think in general, I think 
in general, one of the, and I'm not trying to be preachy here, but this is, you know, this is a personal opinion. I, you know, I, I do think that it's the job of all of us as a worldwide community to look after one another. And I think the idea of just like straight up incarceration for people can be a really fucking bad idea. Yeah. You know, so I, I, it really helped me understand that. Thank you. For some, for some. Hi, I hey. was just wondering if you have a dream role out of any character ever written. Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and last question. Hi. Hey. So we know you can sing, we know you can act. Have you but ever can you dance? <laughs> have you ever given thought to maybe trying to do Broadway musicals? And if so, which Broadway musical would you want to do? Oh, this is an interesting question. So I actually did a musical in London not too long ago and it's actually where I started. I started in a, a group called the National Youth Music Theatre in England and uh, we did a, a, a show written by a guy called Howard Goodall. Howard wrote the theme songs for such shows as Blackadder and so on and so forth um, and it was an adaptation of A Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, I was about 12 I think when I did that so we went up to Edinburgh did it at the Edinburgh Fringe and then we went down and did it at a town just outside of London more place called Guildford um, and then more recently in like 2015 I did a show at the Phoenix Theatre which is where the Stranger Things show uh, The Last First Shadow is now going on um, and that was a musical also if there was a musical that I could do now I think given what like given at the moment kind of where my headspace is at with like understanding people and wanting to kind of explore that a bit more. I love Dear Evan Hansen. I think that's a great Woo! I really do. The music's great, it's a good time, it's it's, it's, it's yeah, it's real cute. You know, Hades Town is also cool as well, I like that. Um Wicked is great. Can you someone say sweetie card? Spam a lot, spam a lot, haven't seen it. Um yeah, there you go. Does that answer your question? Yeah, thank you. Happy days. Thank you so much. 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 Th